Hello Lola, so I am back today with part three. So we kind of talked about, just in case you have not, check the other videos, go back and watch them please if you would, if you like. Um, we have talked about the silicone versus reborns. They're very different mediums um, from everywhere from price to actually the, uh, the flawlessness of them. Um, you know, I know that one thing I did not mention, and I, I will say that here, is that some people collect for so many different reasons and certain things mean a lot to them and to, to one person may not mean anything to someone else. I remember um, having a conversation with a, a, a young lady in the community that um, wanted a silicone baby. And um, I was saying like, um, the proportions were off on the silicone baby and stuff like that and she proceeded to tell me that you know well she had a baby that had some some issues and um, some health issues and stuff and that th it was many times that different parts of them were swollen and so that it was just like it wasn't like they were always like a you know a normal child so that would not bother them and I was like oh didn't think of it that way um it was just you know it's just certain people like they're like okay I just want it for the feel some people like I don't care I just want it to be pretty um that I can dress and just stage I don't really care if it doesn't flop you know so we all like different things and that's why I was saying like you know a lot of us is like oh I don't want Ecoflex 20 but back in you know just Two years ago, Ecoflex 20 was the thing to have, you know. Um, it was the new soft, but now we have another soft. So, um, it's, uh, oh, I'm so rude. Taraji, do they know you? Okay, so Taraji, this is Taraji. She's the Mealy Sculpt by Ping Lao, um, and she's painted by me, myself. So, we got that out of the way. You okay now? Okay. So, yeah, so we talked about that. We talked about um, just, you know, the consistency of the paint and how much more challenging it is to paint with, you know, paint silicone and how it's, we didn't go into how expensive it is, but it is very expensive to even paint with it. The supplies, just everything about it is just expensive. Um, but one of the things I wanted to get into as well as um now i did speak about for me i feel like there is a lot more diversity in reborns i think it's uh they're more accessible than silicone um you know you can find a lot more you know african-american dolls in reborns versus silicone i think it's it's, it's kind of scarce for good realistic ones on both sides compared to what you will find as far as caucasian um, there's also very scarce, like if you're looking for an Asian, um, uh, looking, uh, reborn or silicone as well. So, you know, it's not just African American, but, um, yeah, so, so it's that too. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about, that I wanted to, to talk about in this video is that how, where I am today in my collecting personally and just overall like how this hobby has really really changed me in a lot of ways so many things that i feel like i've been forced into trying or doing that i said i would never do um number one i said i'd never paint a reborn if you guys go back in 2013 and start watching my videos you would hear me saying oh i'll always be a buyer you know i had other artists that would say i think you have an eye for color i think you'll do good at reborn and i'm like yeah uh-uh Ain't gonna happen. Just let me buy my babies and keep it moving. Um, and I think it has happened to a lot of us that have went and dabbled with it and realized, oh, I might can do this, you know, type thing. Even though when I first started, I didn't feel like, oh, I think I can do this. I feel like this screen is just like jumping all over the place. But anyway, um, so I don't know. Like I said, um, I, I had those those moments and I said those things and then I did that and then once I started reborn I said never will I touch silicone and then you know just you know here and there and eventually I said okay I'm gonna try it order the kit and I just all I knew is that you mix A and B and just went for them there and it, you know it's just you know it, it so I, I wanted to try it 
Um, each time it was because it was something I wanted personally in my personal collection and I wanted to try it and then I decided and then eventually I got to a point where, I, okay, I'm going to sell this. I need to sell some of this to get something new. But nevertheless, I feel like I'm in a very comfortable spot just even as a, as a YouTube creator, I think I've changed a lot. I've not so much change from the core. I think I'm all, I've am i always been me. I know I've always been me. Um, I think a lot of my personality has been suppressed a little bit um, over time. I think it's still a little bit held back because I've realized that some things I have to say behind closed doors and I just can't say it out loud all the time. Um, just with being considerate of other people's feelings. And also not only that, just that the karma <laughs> like you know you judge these people and then it come back to you because I remember when I used to talk about the silicone and I was like oh my god the silicone our painting looks horrible and this and other stuff and then I when I started painting I was like oh <laughs> I see why you know it's so challenging type thing you know what I mean um and then I realized that it's different levels. A lot of people like to speak of, I've been doing this for 20 something years. I've been doing this for 30 something years. Really the years is not that significant in this particular type hobby. Um, some people just have an eye. Some people have a special touch. Some people is just really gifted. Some people just really blessed. There's people that's been taught through school and, you know, and, you know, some people, um, really strive to improve some people are perfectly okay being stagnant and you look at their work 10 years ago and it's still the same you know um so you know it's different levels as far as that go but I've also you know there's I evolved in a in a place where um I, I feel like at, at one point as I was growing and I was growing in areas that I think some viewers just couldn't understand like um I used to collect all of you know one sculptor babies and stuff and I think when I stopped collecting just every time you turn around that's all I had I think people started you know there was a, a a number of people that were like oh she broke she this she that and that might be partially true I probably did run out of money a little bit I did and then but that wasn't the only thing too there's also a part where because there was times where i actually had the money to uh venture out and and you know go for the top top brand you know but i realized that that's just not where i wanted to you know i wanted to put my money at at the time um and it allowed me to grow and see other things and, and realize that hey i could actually like love a whole bunch of other you know sculptors work and stuff it's so much out here to explore and then I also I changed my circle around a little bit and sometimes like I said I, things were forced on me you know sometime you know I feel like I had these blinders on with certain people and stuff and then I realized that or maybe they just decided they didn't like me anymore like I, I she get on my nerves she's she's draining you know I'm an emot emotional creature and maybe I was just draining to these people whatever the case may be but all I know is that my circle has changed and shifted around and it allowed me to just like even be even more comfortable in my own self and what I like to collect and I don't allow people to tell me you know that this is beneath me and or or Oh my gosh, I'm just shocked that you would collect that after, you know, you've had this and you've had that. Why would you want that, you know, type thing. I, you know, and and, and then there's there's the thing where there's, um, I don't like this particular sculptor's work, you know. Like, for instance, um, Cassie Brace was a, a sculptor that I would not, I just wouldn't even give it a second look because after... I had one of her sculpts and I felt like the feet were too small and it and they didn't really match the sculpt. I really was like turned off by all her sculpts. And then up until recent, I said, okay, I'm going to buy this kit in secret. And that's another thing. We'll talk about that later, y'all. Cl the closet collectors um, and what people hold in their closets. Um, besides, you know, Bob and them, we ain't talking about that. But um, I was like... You know, 
I'm gonna get this kit and see what I feel. And so when I got the kit, when I got the kit, um, I got the kit and I, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this sculpt. I couldn't wait to paint it. And then that was that that became Memphis. And then after Memphis, I'm like, I could paint this sculpt like a hundred times. Like I've already painted my second one. I want to paint it a third time. Like that's how much I love the sculpt. But had I kept being closed minded and saying, never, never, never. And now I'm looking at, you know, and then look, my other baby is um Zora. She has a, she has a Cassie Brace um head. Um, I don't like the limbs, you know, but I like the head. And I'm like, if I stayed closed minded, you know, how much would I miss out on? Um, I spoke earlier about how my, my daughter don't particularly like, um, my Aspen prototype. I actually absolutely love my Aspen prototype. Like, I think the work on him is amazing. I'm keep glancing over looking at him. He's been, I've been glancing at him the whole time. I've been talking uh, every time you see me look over there because he's right there. Um, and, um, I don't allow that to affect me the way it used to. There used to be a time where people would say, oh my God, I can't stand this baby, da 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 da, your baby's ugly, blah, 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 blah. And then eventually it seeps in and then I, I wanna get rid of the baby. I have friends that, you know, feel comfortable enough to tell me, you know, that they don't particularly like so-and-so sculpt. Now I had, I, I, I had some, some, some associates or friends or, you know, that, <laughs> That didn't tell me until after I, you know, had gotten rid of a few babies that they thought the babies were ugly the whole time. But they always complimented me on the babies and stuff. They never let me know. They just, like, basically made me feel like they really loved my babies. Now, I could say two things. I could say that they were not good friends because they were lying. Or I could say they were good friends and they knew how much it meant to me and that they just, accepted them because of the love I had for the dolls and I'll I'll talk about that too let me let me let me let me stick a pin in that right now um I have a person that I consider to be you know one of my dolly sisters in the community and I think we both have our favorite sculptors and artists that we tend to cling to or gravitate to towards and we those and they're not the same sculptors, they're not the same artists, but I respect the one that she admires because of her. And I res and, and, and I feel like she kind of respect the one that I admire. And I don't know if it's because of me or if it's just because that's just in general, you know, they have respect for just artists in general, what the case may be. But for me, I genuinely try to be respectful and be careful how I say things knowing that one of my you know close you know sis in the community feel about this particular uh artist or sculptor or whatever so you know I've learned that a little bit to to, to take in consideration of other people's feelings along the way but you know this community has a way of like Forcing you into where I'm at time frame. Oh gosh, I can't even see. Is it are we at 13? Yeah, 13. Okay. Um, like I said, this community has a way of forcing trying to force you to go with the most the, the, the most popular uh opinion. Um I have not been known to be that one. Um I am not much of a follower. Um now, somebody might tell that lie and say that, but the record would show I'm pretty much not much of a follower. I Almost every scope that I've had or, like, I've been, like, one of the first people to, like, get that scope. Not, not first in the world. Not first in the... I'm just saying, like, in my circle. Like, I'm not, oh, da 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 And there's nothing wrong with that because, let me tell you. That is what this platform is about. If you're an influencer, you're going to influence people into, you know, other things. It's just like commercials and TV. We're influenced by different things and what we see. And that's how we know we get the feel of what we like. Me too, myself. You think I 
all of a sudden wake up in the morning and say, oh, people got a new kit coming. I can feel it in my spirit. No. Somebody posts a prototype. Somebody posts their personal doll. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I can see myself painting that. That's where it comes from. We all are inspired or the idea originates from somewhere. The idea. Now, do I take a carbon copy and take that doll and say, oh, I'm going to paint this spot in this place, this spot in that place, this spot? No, I don't do that. And I don't want to do that. And, and, and people think there are some people that do that. And it's very obvious to those of us that are very observant. You can see that. You can see that you're, 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 you're a, a, a copy and paste artist. And that takes away from the uniqueness of your work. Like, I think that we all should create our own style and, you know, uniqueness in our work. But, you know, people don't do that. I've had people come to me and say, can you paint like so-and-so? No, you can go to so-and-so and ask them to paint. Why well, I can't afford their work? Well, what the hell you think you finna do with me? So, yeah, no. Like, you know, but that's, you know, a whole nother subject and a whole nother thing. But... I, I am just, I'm very happy that I'm in a place where if it's a silicone that people may think that is inferior to the brands out here, that I'm okay with being okay with loving it and treating it like it's a brand, um, a big brand. If it's a vinyl and I love it, I'm okay with that. And then there's times, like I said, there are sculpts that I'm like, I'll never buy from this sculptor. I'll never buy this. As long as they continue to sculpt like this or do this, I'm not doing it. But then every now and then something woes me or wows me and I'm just like, hmm, tempting. You know what I mean? But in the past, I wouldn't cross that bridge because I would be like, I just don't even feel like dealing with the, the heat. But then there's that closet. So let's speak about that closet. You don't know what I have in my private collection. You don't know that. I don't know what you have in your private collection. Some of these people that's running around him, yeah, 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 I don't want to do this, da, 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 can be the same people that's out here collecting the very stuff, same stuff that they are, you know, in the forums talking against. I'm not saying that I'm one, but it can be very well done. But I'm to a place where I'm just comfortable in my own skin. I'm not trying to spend my whole life running around high and from social media like I'm, I'm not doing it um so you know yeah I want some babies that I keep in private because you know sometimes people get on my nerves with controversial um things or they um people like to judge oh you spent this much for that baby you spent I can't believe you spent that much for that baby I like to keep some babies just to myself and I think I'll always will do that um also there's babies that like maybe I've painted very uniquely and there's certain little things I've done to them that I want to keep to myself like I don't want to share it so everybody can say oh I like that let me do that oh I like that I'm gonna get that same sculpt and paint it that same exact way and do it this same exact way do the hair like this I'm gonna swoop the edges like this I wanna blah 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 I don't want that so I don't share it and that's okay um, that's the beauty of social media you you can share what you choose to share and what you do not you don't have to and then you don't have to be running around here crying talking about oh so and so you know da -da 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 -da. you know yeah sure I'm gonna see something and be like now nah, you know that helpful done said and copy so and so you know so and so had that first so, da -da -da -da. yeah we might be petty in our little sidebar conversations and say that but to like be in an outrage and just devastated you know you know somebody wrote me the other day and I sometimes I feel like people try to provoke me with stuff like that because they don't realize that even though you're still stuck five years ago or ten years ago of how I used to be I've actually grown past that so people will leave me comments like oh I had my baby did exactly like yours and the hair done just like that well good for you good for you i'm glad that i can help inspire you and your artists you know what i mean like i'm what you wanted me to say 
Like, and they'll keep telling me that. And I'm just like, because back in the day, and then I thought about it, I was like, oh, back in the day, I would have been so mad. I would have been so pissed. I would have been like, oh, you know, type thing. No, I don't care. Like, and there's another thing. What you see on camera is not always what, you, what it actually is in person, too. So sometimes you, when you copy from a photo and then you get those two babies side by side in person, they might look totally different because there's so much that the camera do not pick up. Um, good and bad. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's where I'm at with my hobby today. I, like, I just feel like um, just my hobby, my life, period. When I cut my hair and stuff like people were like oh my god you didn't say you were gonna cut your hair i didn't know you was gonna cut your i didn't need your approval last i checked you know what i mean like i'm over 40 like i don't need nobody approval you know i you know when i walked into the office you know this predominantly white they were like oh my god is you okay like first thing they think is i'm sick or something why i'm sure i'm wearing my natural hair i'm being authentic to my natural self I just want to be the wholehearted black me that I am. Is that okay? I don't want to have to. If I want to put in weave in my hair or wear a wig or wear extensions or whatever, I can do that. But if I want to be my natural me, I can be my natural me without me having a nervous breakdown or um, them thinking I have cancer or whatever. I mean, literally, they asked me, like, one of them asked me, like, do you have cancer? Wow. So, yeah. So anyway, um, so my collection took a big turn, and I think it's it's it's, it's steady turning. I it it's, it it gets more interesting to myself each day. I don't know about you guys that's following, but I just never thought I would be so much into toddlers, and here I am. Like my favorite baby is a toddler. Like, um, wow. I, 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 I'm just crazy. Like, and my, one of my favorite babies is a Cassie Brace baby. Imagine that. Like, I, it's just, it's just crazy. I am just like all over the place now. I'm, you know, I'm dibble dabbing in all types of stuff. Uh, people, uh, sculptors, and artists that I've never thought to bring in my collection or look at or even knew they existed. I'm looking at their work and it's, it's, it's just a fun, a very, very fun experience. I feel like now I'm back where I should have been. I'm back on track of collecting and painting and, and, and stuff because this is what it's about. I feel like, come on, you got to, you, you got to enjoy it. Like I was just stuck in this bubble. And like I said, it's nothing wrong with when you find an artist that you really, really like work, like sticking with that artist because I'm telling you, you do get disappointed a lot of times. But if every now and then you get a little itch to, you know, try something new, it's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to be loyal to one specific artist or sculptor, and and that's okay. And I I think most artists don't expect you to. Um, but I think with us, we just kind of get stuck in that zone, and um, and then some people, of course, do it if do it for um popularity or you know I think that they think that makes them more special or something and that's okay too whatever whatever makes you feel good as long as it's what you want to do do it I, it's your thing like we all collect for different reasons I have some babies that I collect that I just sit on a shelf Love it, think it's gorgeous, but it's just not a baby I want to dress. Like I don't want to change. I don't want to change that baby clothes. I feel like I'm dressing a picture because it's painted in a way that it looks like it's a canvas. It's an art doll. That it really just. And I'm not saying like Taraji is not an art doll, or you know Joy is not an art doll. But maybe certain ones just don't look like they should be being changed and interacted with like that as much and I just want to look at them they I, it's just gorgeous I just want to look at them and that's okay I don't feel like I'm wasting my money because when I walk past them I'm getting that same happy energy and that is okay and that's what people need to understand you it has no right or wrong way to collect in this hobby and I used to talk about the hair you know I, I've seen micro premiums look like they in the, the the should be in the NICU 
that's got 18 inch long weave down their back. I mean, you know, human hair. And, and that's okay. That's what they want. Let them have what they want. They pay for it. For me, it was a no. But for them, it's a yeah. So let them. I, you know, and I, and I, you know, and I make jokes about it sometime or whatever. But do you? I mean, this, this our money. This our hobby. If, whatever you want to do. But I got another subject for y'all that I want to talk about. But I'll talk about it in the next chat. Um. And 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 we'll we'll move forward with that. This is a very long video. Let me let me end this. Come on, Taraji. We we sick of them, ain't we? They done took up all our time.